now let's go in detail about the resources first comes on the basis of origin by the children means what it means on the basis of source from where the resources have been obtained now you easily understood so what are the biotic or abiotic biotic resources are what these are living beings they are living resources they are obtained from biosphere and have life in it flora fauna isn't human species all are your biotic resources similarly abiotic resources these are non living things they are obtained from non living things who are they water minerals air and many more similarly the main part is come now what is adjustability resources what is adjustable resources on the basis of adjustability means on the basis of whether the resources can be renewed or not am i clear renewed or not is called adjustability they are renewable and non renewable resources again now you come to what is renewable resource these resources can be renewed or reproduced through physical chemical or mechanical process example solar energy wind energy water energy forest wildlife many more next again the question may come to your mind is this resources are called in adjustable resources yes they are also called in adjustable resources means the resources that never runs out or gets depleted are called in adjustable you see wind solar energy tides geothermal energy yields they are natural resources so they reappear naturally so they are in adjustable but remember here all renewable resources are in adjustable but in adjustable resources are not renewable as the in adjustable resources are never end by human activities like air sunlight clear these resources also called flow resources or continuous resources you see a resource which is neither is renewable nor non renewable and must be used where it occurs and replenishes itself they are natural resources like solar radiation running water tides biomes wind etc are called flow or continuous resources dear children these renewable resources also called non conventional resources these are natural resources like wind tides biomes they are pollution free resources so see how the renewable resources can be called flow resources continuous resources in adjustable resources non non conventional resources clear dear children now let's see what are the non renewable resources these resources take millions of years to form they cannot be used again and again like renewable resources they occur over a long geological time example you say minerals and fuels 
Similarly, these resources also called exhaustible resources, which are present in limited quantities and can be completely used up by human interference, human activities. These resources get depleted over time with increasing use of this. Am I clear? Example you can say coal, petroleum, minerals like iron, copper, aluminium and many more. Dear children, these resources can be also called conventional resources means present in limited quantity and are being used for a long time like your fossil fuels. Don't forget again, this non renewable resources can be also called recyclable and non recyclable resources. Things which can reuse in any form again and again after its use is called recyclable resources. Say newspaper, office paper, cardboards, it is. Even if minerals also, they can be recyclable. And on the other hand, you see non recyclable resources, who are they? They are the substances which cannot put to use in any form again. For example, garbage, food waste, polythene bags. Clear.